low budget gaming chair those are the two keywords that i've been googling all week just to find a decent chair to go in my setup and obviously i wasn't looking for anything crazy and you get what you've paid for so i've gone with the big zr gaming chair First initial thoughts, it's been a comfortable and sturdy chair while sitting in it for around eight hours a day. And I would say if you don't want to spend a lot on a gaming chair, then this probably may be your go-to, but there are obviously some office chairs that will be better than this. It comes in a wide range of colors such as red, pink, green, blue, but I went for the black and white as you can see, as it suits myself best. It has a high density cushion and ergonomic design, which will provide support for your backrest if you're either like remote working or even gaming for hours. Plus it comes with a lumbar headrest. Now when it comes to the material, I was doing a bit of research on what particularly other gaming chairs essentially use. Big Zia uses faux leather, which is prone to fading, cracking, and usually stain free if you're to spill something on it, so you can easily just wipe it away. The chair is padded with a high density foam, which gives that comfy seating experience and also retains its form. Now, if you just want to chill and relax a bit more, you can adjust the seat in between 90 and 155 degrees, and it's still comfortable in that position. I just personally wouldn't sit in it for a long period of time like that, especially since it does not have leg recliners as I've seen some gaming chairs have. As I said before, you get what you pay for. And um, one thing I would say is this chair feels a bit shorter height wise compared to other gaming chairs I've tried. The top half of my head does not exactly fit within the chair. And in order for that neck rest to sit comfortably behind my neck, I'm going to have to raise the, um, the back seat, which then leaves a gap between the top and the bottom half of the seat. It's, it's a small thing, but this is something that I've noticed. In terms of the armrest, it does not feel as sturdy as I was thought it would be. There is a bit of a wobble to it, but again, it's not a deal breaker for me as I don't really notice it during my day to day. So if you're on a budget and looking for a starter gaming chair, take a look at this as it will be around $120 depending on where you get it from and assembling it probably took me 25 minute max with a bit of procrastination, but I'm still happy with the purchase and I won't be changing anytime soon. Hope you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.